Hi, my name is Borna. Today I'm going to show you how to log in, register, and reset password in Laravel with Laravel Auth with user defined table. And after that, I will show you how to modify it. So let's start. Here I have fresh Laravel application. Make sure you have also fresh Laravel application because this uh, PSP addition map auth command should have use in fresh application. So remember this one and now we will run this command in command prompt. So let's go to your project directory. Hold shift key in the keyboard on your project. Right click. Open command window here. And write this command that is PSP PSP array sum mac auth and enter this PSP addition uh, mac auth command automatically create essential a view for your authentication and do the authenticated part automatically so let's go to your browser and now refresh the page ah uh, this one is coming click here login okay the still is not good inspect element and network reloads okay this localhost css app css so let's go this uh, command automatically create a place all the views under resources then views then auth so since this is login page so go to login.blend.psp and okay this one go to levers app.psp and write here second bracket url first bracket then in this one copy save and refresh now yeah this one is get similar way add this part copy paste here go and refresh mm, yes yes there is a view and this one the yeah, register and paste so so now now the next step is create database so let's go and create a table here database I named it as bonds auth and then join CI and create the database is totally empty there is no table so let's go so the next step is config database in dot env file so go to dot env file and db host is local host port is database is bombs auth There's one 
and then user is root and password is empty and save so now write php artisan migrate in common front this line is for migrate the tables into database so go and write php artisan migrate and enter okay migration table created successfully go to your local database and refresh the database see users table is created password reset is created so now go to your browser register register yeah there is the authenticated authenticated page logout wow there is login it's wbd.com bd at gmail.com enter login wow there is one and log out now the forget password so this one for reset password config mail in dot env file go smtp and mail host is smtp dot gmail dot com port is go to your config then mail dot psp copy this five seven five eight seven and Paste here. Save. Username is your pass. Your email address. Here my email address is ons tutorial at gmail dot com. Password is well. One two three four. Is your gmail password and this one is your gmail id and it is will be tls copy this one encryption paste and save now mail.psp your email address copy and this is the user defined name it will be the subject of your mail okay once name to real i name this you can name anything okay save and now go to your email address email now is then go to my account and 
and sign in and security and all these secure apps on now that is the user okay send out login forget your password and send we have emailed your password reset so let's go Okay, from Bones tutorial, reset password. Wow, we get the mail. Okay, Laravel, hello. Reset password. Okay, go. Write your email and your password. Reset password. Now we can log in with new preset password and log out this one. Here our register info users information is stored in users table. Now suppose you want to store your authenticated info in different table. So how can we do this? So let's create a migration file by writing this comment right click paste and enter so create a migration go to your database directory migration see new file is created with date create register users open this user table also copy this one and right here paste and write your desired table name register users okay and copy this line paste and copy this table name and paste save now go to database check all and drop yes okay now the database is empty there is no table and now again write psp address sum migrate and enter and refresh the database okay there is the register users table by default Laravel auth model is user.psp and all models by default assume that its table name is model plus s that's mean that's mean user models table is users register models table is register registers this model name user and then s 
similar way this is the model name register and uh, with s you can change your stable name by using fo following line in model put it date dollar table equal to your desired table name now let's go to your model user model dash app directory http controllers no controllers not user.php okay right here protected table equal to since we will use register users copy this one and paste and save go to browser refresh this one and write something and register let's see the database okay register users oh now the information is stored in register users now suppose you want to store more information in register users table so first go to register.blade.php resources views then register.blade.php copy this to this one copy one and paste 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 okay here we will use full name right here address copy this part Address full lamp. Uh, no, okay. Good this part. Form number. Keep this one. Best. Save, go to browser, okay, there is full name, address, phone number, now go to database migrations, then this one, and copy this one, copy, paste paste and uh, write this one full 
this one address and this one is phone number and save go to your database check all drop yes the database is empty now again go and PSP artisan migrate and enter okay and refresh this one register users okay okay full name address phone number okay now go to user.psp model here is and add in fillable full name address and phone number save and now go to app directory then controller http controllers or directory and register controller.psp and right here in create function copy this one per character but I wanna use integer so again come check out drop yes come and yeah right in teaser and save again PSP addition migrate I enter and see okay okay now come here and refresh the page right doesn't default value name insert okay come here again and come save this one is full name okay uh, register controller copy this one full name address phone number 
copy save and refresh okay register okay go to register uh, okay that is full m that is address phone number email and save again refresh the space and write register okay yeah and refresh the database Let's see wow now we can store more information in the register table so now if you want to check login with a uh, name instead of email how can we do this simple just go to vendor directory then laravel framework as framework src illuminate illuminate foundation and then authenticate users dot php public function user's name username just change this one name this name is the, your database column name and save and okay refresh it's not login because now okay got it go to your login there's resources views or directory then login.blade.psp just rename this name copy paste and this one is name and paste and save you can log in with name attribute name and yeah that's all and log out now suppose uh, you want to you want your initial page as login how can you change let's go and open roost folder web.psp and 
and this one is telling go to welcome where is welcome there is welcome okay but in initial page we'll show login page so login page is located in auth folder then login so this will be auth dot login and save and now refresh well yes now we will change the view part never so go and layers folder app dot play dot psp and okay copy copy this one copy and paste after this just delete save Okay. Okay. And then chance student. This will be student list safe. create a file a student dot blade dot psp and save copy okay copy this one copy and paste in student dot blade dot psp save and go then boot step table copy from controller to this part copy and paste instead of this part and save and go to web.blade uh, copy this one paste and write get a student and this one is just a student and save okay cut this one go to app.blade.psp and write here capital URL then a small t o Okay, there will be second bracket. And and press this one and save. Refresh. Student not found. Okay. Oh rename this one 
student there um, refresh okay there is space now I want to show this never only author only authenticated user can see this part so go in app.blade.psp right here beginning of if add if if first bracket and there's the end of if e auth user first bracket and save if this line actually get all the information about user authentication and it's telling if user is logging then show this part otherwise not okay save this and okay we have to add here mid middleware this bracket auth and save this line actually making this root authenticated so now refresh okay you will not get this uh, base until you log in so go okay now you can see that one there is error okay this one will be home base okay go home home controller so here home controller it go to home and there is dot blade dot psp right here home and save also make it authenticated copy this one so that unauthenticated people cannot access this space to access the authenticated no we cannot access this space because we are not logging now what is the 
is all through uh, or how can we get this error login register actually this all through actually equal to this one and this all through is just a helper class that help you to generate all the rules for your user authentication and, and this rule this line is equal to this one